Hello. Hello. What can I do for you? Yeah, I bought one covers okay. from the shop, and it's printed for me. Okay. But uh, I was learn. I was looking for machines can do it. Of course. Your machine, machine can do it. Of a three D sublimation machine can. Do yeah, it. it's very. It's amazing effect. Yeah. Yeah. You can also what print can, the so, plate, the photo frame, the tiles, everything. What should we need? Yeah, it's buy? very easy. It's uh -huh. very easy to use the machine. Yeah. We need few electronic devices. Mm -hmm. The first is a laptop. Yes, laptop. A digital camera. Mm -hmm. Epson printer. Yeah. Of course, our new 3D sublimation heat press machine. Mm -hmm. So what kind of materials do we need? Okay. Here is sublimation ink. You can have a look. Sublimation ink. Can it be used by normal inks? No. You must have only sublimation ink. Only sublimation. Only sublimation. Okay. And sublimation paper? Yes. It's a normal paper? No, it's sublimation. Special one. Yeah, it's okay. special for sublimation. Okay. That's all. Dear customer, thank you for buying our new products of 3D sublimation heat press machine. Now we introduce the process of maintenance and replacing the accessories of our product. Now we introduce the process of replacing our main board. Here is the main board of the machine. You can see there are six screws under the main board. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Use the screwdriver to unscrew the six screws of the circuit board. Take off the cover of the circuit board. And now you can see this is the circuit board of the machine. We advise our customers to take a picture of the board to remember the positions of the wires of the circuit board. Now unplug all the wires on the circuit board. Remember to do it very carefully. For this wire, don't pull it hard. There is a lock. Please use a special tool to unlock the wire. Here is how it goes. All the screws on the circuit board. Okay. Now install the new circuit board to its original position. Please remember to do it carefully. Plug all the wires into it according to its original position. Now cover the main board. And screw the main board to its original position. If you set the temperature to 200 degrees Celsius, and it shows 10 degrees or 20 degrees, it means the heat detector is broken. Now you have to change the heat detector. This is our new heat detector. Here we show the process of replacing the new heat detector to the old one. To replace the heat detector, unscrew the four screws. One, two, three, and four. 
and the last screw is hiding under the logo. Open the cover. Here is the detector and here is the fuse. Unscrew the detector to replace the old one. Take out the old one and replace with the new. The detector is attached with the glue, so don't worry, just take off it, cut the wire with the special scissor, and the rest of the procedure is how you can see in the demo. Our technician helps us to change the heat detector. Here is how you can replace the new one. Now screw it back using a screwdriver. Cut the wire using a special scissor. You can see our technician, you can follow the same procedure. To fix the wire, use the special instrument and use the electric tape. You can follow the procedure same as in the demo by the technician. Use the special glue to stick the detector again to its original position. After this process, you can cover it back and screw the screwdrivers again. The first one under the logo. and the four screws back to the original position using a screwdriver. One. Two. Three. and four.
fix the logo back to its original position using the glue. It's done. Here is the vacuum cover of the machine. You know, this material is very easy to be damaged. You can see there are two holes in the machine. A small hole and a very big hole. To mend the small hole, you can use the glue. Just use the heat proof glue to mend the small hole. Before using the glue, clean the silicone cover. To mend the big hole, cut a piece of silicone cover from the used one. Cut into small pieces like this. To mend the big hole, use the heat proof glue and stick a piece of silicone cover on the hole. This is a small hole. To just mend the small hole, you can use the heat proof glue. And it's done. Remember, the glue needs 24 hours or more to get solidified. So during that process, we suggest our customer, please don't use the machine. This is a silicone cover mended yesterday. After 24 hours, you can see it's already repaired. Now, let's see how it goes after we turn on the machine. This is the packing of our machine. This is the accessory bag, which contains sealing line 